hello friends welcome to abhyanvi tutorials so today i got a requirement uh, that i have to update one table then those changes should be reflected in the master table okay for example i have data one data two table so data one table is uh, not accessible by everybody only one person will have the access but data to table will be accessed by many people if they make any changes here so they should be reflected in a resultant table okay so that is called master table so we'll uh, prepare a master table here we populate then whatever changes we make in data to those changes should reflect in master table with a distinct data so it has to compare data 1 and data 2 so whatever latest changes are made in the data 2 by some clerk or somebody those should be reflected in master table okay so they don't have access to data 1 data 1 will be this data only so data 2 whatever they add row or modify some content so those should be reflected in the master table okay guys so let us start uh, let us go to uh, we are in the transform data then we'll write a query function okay so write a query function blank query then go to advanced editor okay so i have a readily available data here code so i will explain this code paste this code so this is a function having the three parameters one is the register is the main table update is the second table where you want to update and third is the attributes list that is nothing but column names okay so here it will take the it will uh, uh, first it will take this uh, column names and uh, it will remove the column names and it will make the remaining data and it will append the two tables okay table dot combine means appending the tables so first it will take the second table because that is having the precedence over first table so whatever clerk is changing the changes those should be reflected in the master table right that's why update is the first parameter and this is the uh, dictionary is the second parameter uh, which is the second table okay so update is the uh, which is done by clerk those changes should be reflected in the master table then we'll group this uh, uh, tables by this valued function so this value field function is nothing but it will accumulate all values and it will append the values okay then we'll remove the duplicates because there will be duplicates from table 1 and table 2 right so once the table 2 take the precedence over table 1 then whatever table 1 data in the bottom that will be get deleted using table dot distinct okay so this is a function then click ok then we'll get the query function data like this okay so we have the dictionary is the data one dictionary two is the uh, update is the data two but we don't have attributes so attributes we have to give a column okay so attributes is nothing but the column names of this uh, any data one or data two table okay so name class those two column names should be in one column so that we can give that attributes list here okay so for that i will write a code here so make it duplicate so rename this as attributes okay okay then go to advanced editor and here extract the column names okay uh, let's say column names okay column names equal to table dot okay table dot column names uh, here i forgot the inverted commas here so table dot column names okay so give the table in the previous step uh, this one change it type okay guys same column names here as per our M code standards we have to give the column names here okay 
so what it will do it will extract the column names in a list okay so here like this we will get the list then what we have to do go to right click and make it to the table okay guys click ok then it will become table and just change the type to the test because these are the names okay then go to query then select the table 1 and table 2 okay and attributes is nothing but attributes table select the column okay guys then invoke okay so we'll get like this so what we observed so table 1 is this one table 2 is this one so table 2 have got the residence over table 1 so whatever table 2 data is there that will be come in the master table I'll make it as a master table master table means final table okay so in master table we'll get the whatever changes you make in that data um, data 2 will reflected in the master table by comparing with data 1 so it will append this data 2 uh, top and data 1 bottom then they will take the distinct values then uh, data 2 got results over data 1 so we get the master table values from data 2 so for example i i will change any values in data 2 for example i am changing ashok to 75 okay then save it okay then here come and uh, refresh then we will get 75 okay so this uh, data 2 is given to any clerk or some uh, um, uh, some person who will uh, do the changes in the database but data 1 will be with the boss okay he want it is not accessed by anybody okay so for example if i want to add any data new person okay for example, Vinny I am adding. So Vinny I will add 55. Okay. Save it. Okay. Then come to Power BI and refresh it. Then that should reflect here. Okay. So this master table can be used for your visuals. Okay. So for example, you want to delete any data. Okay. For example, I want to delete uh, data Ashok from data 2 okay guys so what happens it will reflect in the power bi table let us see master table delete so i deleted ashok here in master table it won't reflect okay ashok will be there because it is not deleted from table one okay so this is accessed by boss so if any deletions are there only boss can do it okay if he deleted ashok from here okay then that will be reflected here okay guys so like that you can uh, uh, put a security feature in this uh, table editions where boss only can delete the data from uh, data one whereas clerk can enter data or modify data from the data two table which will be reflected in the master table and those will be used for visuals okay guys so this is very useful feature lot of people asked me to do this video so i am doing okay so data one data two so whatever changes made in the data will get the predecessors over data one and they will compare and will take the distinct values so whatever uh, values changed in data two only will get reflected in master table okay for example you want to delete any candidate then we have to delete from data 2 and data 1 also so data 2 will be deleted by clerk but ultimately boss only can delete any person from the data 1 so that it will reflect in the master table here okay guys hope you understood this uh, concept if you like this video subscribe to my channel abhyanvi tutorials for more such amazing power query videos thank you very much for watching bye bye